Favorite thing about uh, President President Elect Donald Trump? Favorite thing? Uh, he's gonna make America great again. <laughs> what are you most concerned about, President Elect Trump? Women's rights. You don't have to wonder what he's thinking, he's gonna tell you. Sometimes he probably needs to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I think he's honest and he speaks his mind. He says things he shouldn't say. He speaks his mind a little too much. Hell yeah. I'll use his can, bro. What's your, what's your least favorite thing about President Trump? Uh, probably how successful he is. Makes him a little bit arrogant. Doesn't come off well to the liberal media, but you guys are fake news. So that's it. There's the Capitol. The inauguration is happening today, January 20th, 2017. Donald Trump will be sworn in as uh, the president of the USA. So in trying to figure out what to do today, I asked you, my YouTube audience, for ideas. And not one person suggested that I go and sit in a field and listen to the president-elect be sworn in as president. Even though I've got the credentials and the pass and the tickets and all that, I'm not gonna go to the inauguration. While everybody is headed here towards the Capitol, I'm gonna head away from the Capitol and do what everybody suggested I do, which is talk to people. What would you like to see happen in this country in the next four years? Uh, better jobs for everybody. You know, higher wages, you know, so people can, you know, live better lives, take care of their families. How come you're not at the inauguration? I don't want to be down there. It just, it just seems like a lot, whole lot of trouble for nothing. Well, thank you very much for your time. My name's Casey. I'm Michael. Michael, nice to meet you, Michael. Nice to meet you. You know, there's a possibility, anything's possible, there's a possibility that he could become, a, to be a very good president. I mean, you know, I just have to view things with an open mind. The speech that he made this morning was very good, actually. What do you, what do you like most about uh, President Trump? Mm -hmm. There's not a lot. I'm sorry, there's just not a lot that I've heard or seen from him. One thing that I do appreciate about him is his honesty, his total honesty. You know, my, I said when I came down here that I wanted to sort of get out of my bubble. And I think getting away from the core of the inauguration, I was able to kind of experience varied perspectives. And I think that is, uh, that is the key to empathy, is understanding other people's perspectives. It's only one o'clock though, I'm gonna see what else is going on in the city. How was your inauguration day? It's awesome, man. All it's right. awesome. Among the protests, I found a fan. What's your name? My name is Milani. Milani, it's nice to meet you. Something, something's happening, Milani. They're throwing rocks off. Thanks, man. Thank you. Stay, stay safe, guys. Okay. <laughs> How is 
everybody like treating you with that hat on in this environment? I did get it hit off one time, but that's been it. Then I've gotten a little, some dirty looks, as well as some guy tried taking it off of me another time, but we're fine. People are treating me nice. Enjoy the rest of your day. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Everybody, come on, guys. Come on. Just got hit with pepper spray, and this man has no clothes on. I think today was an extremely successful day. I thoroughly enjoyed meeting all of those people this morning. Uh, and I'm glad I was able to see some of the uh, protesters slash, um, which by the way, I made it seem really big in this video, but that was all contained in like a one block area. So I, I don't think that was a fair like depiction of what was happening across Washington, DC. Really glad I came down here. I'm glad I was here to experience this.